Hey insiders, this week's news flash is gonna be straight to the point. This is official updates from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. We got some great feedback from Matt. You can see a video in the description with a couple of tips around audience retention and part of that is keeping your intros direct into the point. So let's get into it. First update we have this week is around chat support. Now, if you were watching in August, this did come up. You can check out that video via a link in the description. What we're doing is rolling out a pilot whereby chat support will be available via studio. Now, monetizing creators have always had the option to access chat support via the help center, but obviously it's an awful lot easier if you can just do it within your working environment. If you're eligible for this pilot, what you'll see is a little chat icon that will appear beside the help button. Who's this available to? Well, firstly, to a select number of YouTubers who have set their language as English and we'll be rolling it out to a couple of other languages as well. Next update, update number two, we have the Creator Research Program. Now, last week, Jalissa and Avanov talked about the Creator Research Program. They're still on the lookout for specifically mobile first creators. So make sure you follow the instructions below to reach out to the research team to become part of that program. Update number three, terms of service. Some of these were updated last week, but there are two things that we wanna call out specifically. The first is that YouTube restricts third parties from collecting data which could be used for the purposes of facial recognition. Now, our position on this hasn't changed. However, the technology in this area has developed significantly. And that's why we're updating the language to make sure that we are explicit, that we are very clear on this point. YouTube restricts third parties from collecting data which could be used for the purposes of facial recognition. Point number two on terms of service. The platform has the right to monetize all content on the platform and payments to partners who monetize on the platform are going to be regarded as royalties from a US tax perspective. We're gonna to link to a forum below within the description, which provides a much more detailed update. Take a look through it. These things are really important to understand. The next update we have is around featured channels. Now, what are they? Well, the first thing to know is they allow creators to showcase specific channels within their own channel. Now, what's changing? Previously, that had been located on the right-hand side of the desktop version of a channel. What's changing now is that is gonna be effectively like any other featured element of a channel um, or featured section of a channel to make it more consistent across mobile and desktop. So make sure you visit your channel page to convert that section into any other featured section. Next up, we have pinned chats. What are they? They allow a creator to pin their own chat or a fan's chat to put it in a more prominent position. Now, what is the good news here? Well, it's rolling out to 100% of creators. We really hope you enjoy this feature. Next update, we have a you're leaving YouTube message. Now, this is about the safety of the platform's users. Um, and what the message will do is it will say, you are leaving YouTube. It'll ask you to confirm that A, you want to do this. And number two, that you trust the link that you clicked on. All of this is part of the platform's mission to keep everybody safe while using YouTube. So make sure you leave some feedback in the comments below. All right, next up, we have some exciting news around user testing. This is around the dot that appears beside the subscriptions alert. Now, currently today that dot is red like this, but what we wanna test out is a new dot which is gonna be blue like this. Now, why we're doing this is to better differentiate between the notifications alert and the subscribers alert, or rather subscriptions alert the alert that tells you that there's been a new upload from one of your subscriptions. We'll be testing it out over the next little while. Let us know if you have any feedback in the comments below. We'd be delighted to know if it's having the desired impact. All right, next up, we have exciting news about YPP appeals by video. 
Now, if you don't remember Barbara and Jocelyn, going into a little bit of detail around an experiment on this last year, we'll leave a link to that video in the description. So what's happening? Well, for those that may have been suspended from YPP, what's gonna happen is this experiment is moving into a beta phase. Now, how this impacts this community is that it's gonna be integrated into Studio. So not only will you be able to appeal by video via Studio, you'll also get more granular feedback on the appeal once a decision has been made. Now, this is gonna be available on a very limited basis at the beginning, but those who have been suspended from YPP and are eligible for this appeal path will be able to access it for the moment and tell us a lot more about your content. What happens once you make that video to give our policy team more context about your channel, your content, and how you approach the platform? Well, the policy team will review that added context. And if your appeal shows that your channel complies with our policies, we'll turn that monetization back on for your channel before the end of the 30-day suspension window. We'll keep you updated with how this is going. If you're eligible and you're experiencing this really cool application path, keep us updated with how it's going for you. Leave us some feedback in the comments below. This week's question comes from Enrishinho Powerlifting, sorry that I'm not pronouncing that correctly, who asks, I am very curious about locations in which videos are recommended. I do English videos to reach more globally people, but 99% of my content is recommended in Switzerland, where I'm living, which is mostly German speaking. How to get recommended in other countries? Well. We took this question back to Rachel, who wrote the following reply. Interesting, we don't restrict a video's exposure to the uploader's country. Our systems respond to viewer demand, so you must be making something that Swiss viewers really like. It all comes down to the audience, so maybe you could do some market research into the types of videos viewers in these other countries want and or what they're watching. You can use trends.google.com filtering to YouTube search. Try using that uh, to see what topics viewers in your target countries may be looking for. So again, we've shifted from the traditional trivia questions to answering your questions. So if you have a question, make sure to pop it into the comments below and we'll pick one a week, uh, certainly for the next couple of weeks. From the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, I've been Connor, this has been Creator Insider and your weekly news flash. See you next week.